Are you new to RuneScape? Are you just stuck or confused on a specific skill or quest? Or are you just too lazy to look something up elsewhere? Well, no matter the situation, our education has got you covered. What is up guys, I am Joseph, this is Joseph's Place, and welcome to this episode of RSUcation. Now, this episode is going to be one that I've been wanting to make for a while, and it's, I think it's, in my opinion, very helpful. And this will be runecrafting law runes in the most effective way possible. Now, this will not be using the Abyss, rather, this will be using the balloon method, the hot air balloons, um, to and from Entrana. So, the skill requirements for this are pretty simple. Um, you do need 50 fire making and then of course 54 rune crafting. That's really it. And then the skills that are required to complete the quests Enlightened Journey and then the quests up to and including Troll Stronghold. So I believe the only major ones there are 36 crafting and 30 farming. So once you have those quests completed and once you have those skills completed, um, you are ready to start balloon, hot air ballooning. It's pretty exciting. So what you will need for the Castle Wars um, location is 10 U-Logs. Now, you won't need 10 U-Logs every time you go. You will actually only need one Oak Log, but I'll explain that as we get further on. So what we need to do is take the boat to Entrana first off. Now, I apologize if this is a bit choppy. I don't normally record my guides live, but I felt like it'd be the best for this situation. So bear with me a little bit as we get through this. Um, but once we're on Entrana, we need to make our way over to the balloon. Now, keep in mind that you can't bring any armor or weapons to Entrana, and for the hot air balloons, you do have to be, be weighing under 40 kg. So, again, just the 10 U-Logs is only about 20, I believe, so it shouldn't be a problem. But if you plan on using these in the future, just, so, just remember that you can't be um, weighing any more than 40 kg. So now that we're on Entrana, and we're by our hot air balloon, we need to right-click on Augusti, or however you pronounce his name, press fly, and then click on Castle Wars, and then we will be ready to make our venture over to Castle Wars. So, if you've done these before, maybe you found it a little bit confusing, or maybe the wiki is a little bit confusing on how it explains it, so I just want to quickly go over and try to explain it very clearly on how you can get through this pretty easily. So, what we first need to do is we need to drop the sandbag twice. So there's, there's two options, or actually it's just one option, just move up more. So drop the sandbag, drop it again, and then we need, to, we need to move it up just one more, so we need to use the logs. And now we're on the top row. Now we need to relax five times, so one, two, three, four, five. I accidentally double clicked that one, but it was indeed five. Now we need to pull the red rope, which brings us down two. Now we need to burn a log, which brings us up one. Now we need to relax two, which moves us over to the right two spaces. Pull the red rope, moves us down. Then we need to relax two more times, so one, two. We need to burn two logs, so one, two. And then we need to relax three times. And on that third time, we will move on to the second stage, screen number two. The first thing we need to do here is burn one log, move up one space. We need to relax two. We need to pull the red rope so we go down quite a bit. There we go. We need to pull the normal rope so we just go down one. And then we need to relax seven times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Now we need to drop a sandbag, which moves us up two. Then we need to relax two more times. So one, two. We need to pull the red rope. And I'm going to stop counting because I'm assuming you all know how to count. Um, you need to burn one log, so we go up one, and then we need to pull the normal rope to go down one. So we get across those feudal obstacles there, and then just relax once. And now we're on to screen number three. So the first thing we need to do is burn one log. So burn that log, go up one, relax two to move over a little bit, pull the normal rope to go down, then relax three, and then we will burn one log to go up one, and then we're going to pull the red rope to go down two. Then we're going to relax four times. All right, then we're going to drop a sandbag, which moves us up two spaces, pull the red rope, which moves us down two spaces. We're going to relax twice, and then we're going to pull the normal rope. 
And there we go. That brings us to Castle Wars. Now, if that was said a bit too fast, I do apologize. I didn't want it to take too long, but I understand how that could have been confusing. So my suggestion is if you need to, just go back and rewatch it a few times, and that way you'll be able to go through it while actually being able to see it on the screen. So you can just keep pausing and going back to it. it might make it a little bit easier for you. So that's the first part of the of the guide done. We have the hard part done. So now what we need to do is we need to actually start crafting those law runes. So I'm going to pause the video right now. I'm going to get my setup prepared, and then I'll be right back to show you the rest of the guide. Okay, guys, welcome to the second half of this guide. And then this half will actually be considerably easier. The first half is definitely the more difficult part, the actual setup. This is just going to show you the path in which you'll be running to craft your law runes. Now, I'm going to start with my setup. I'm going to start with my loadout, or with what items I am wearing. My outfit, if you will. And the outfit I'm wearing is just basically weight-reducing gear. Now, normally people will just wear a spottier cape and boots of lightness. However, I just decided to wear some graceful as it matches a bit better, and it does the job. So, you know, it's really up to you what you want to do. Boots of Lightness do give better weight reduction than the Graceful Boots. However, nothing really counts past zero, so negative 13 and negative 15 isn't a difference. It is exactly the same. So just for the sake of matching, I decided to go with the Graceful. So um, aside from the Graceful, again, I have my spottier cape, and then also a Ring of Dueling, which is incredibly necessary because that is the transportation or the teleportation method you'll be using to get from the Law Altar back to a bank. So again, basically, um, just weight reducing armor and a Ring of Dueling. You can also bring a Glory if you'd like for just an extra transportation method out, but again, it's not required. Now, inventory-wise, you can see that I obviously have my Pure Essence as well as my pouches that are full, but on top of that, I have a few things that maybe you weren't expecting. I have, first off, I have an Energy Potion. Now, I would highly suggest bringing Super Energy Potions as they restore quite a bit more, and you'll be making plenty of money making the laws, so you'll be making plenty of profit to be able to pay for those. Unfortunately, though, I this is my Iron Man account, so I'm not able to either buy nor make the energy po the super energies as of yet. So I am stuck with normal energy potions. But again, even if you are considerably low on funds, I would highly suggest buying some as you'll be making plenty of profit to make up for it. And it just speeds up your times by quite a bit. So again, the energy potions are very helpful there. Also, you'll need one normal log to travel to Entrana. So you, you, you used 10 new logs to get from Entrana to here, and you would normally need one U-Log to get from Entrana to Castle Wars, but it's only one normal log to get back to Entrana. So, very helpful there. And you also notice that I do have my tiara and law talisman in my inventory. The main reason is because I haven't made my tiara yet, so I'll be doing that actually right now. So, now that we have our inventory and outfit all set up, we're going to just obviously keep run on since we do have those potions. We're going to go over to the balloon, and we're going to use the basket. And then, or actually, yeah. We want to use the basket and we want to go over to Entrana. And there we go, a little cutscene, or not even a cutscene, if you want to call it a cutscene, will appear in which we will take a wonderful balloon ride over to the lovely island of Entrana. Now again, remember you can't bring any armor or weapons along with you, so just keep that in mind. So once we get here, you're just going to want to run east through the the temple or whatever the church I guess you could call it remember to drink your energy potions when you're low this won't be as necessary on your first run but it will be rather necessary am I not able to pray at this altar there we go apologize for that little pause it was bothering me that I had zero prayer points um, but this will the energy potion will be more for the second and on runs as I had full energy starting this and you won't when you do your second run and on so the law altar, as you can see, is right here. So I'm just going to use my talisman on the altar. And then we just simply run forward, craft our law runes, and then again, empty the pouches. And then again, click on the altar, and there we go. We have created our first set of law runes. And I'm actually going to use my tiara on this, get myself a law tiara so it's a little bit easier for next time. But really, that's it. We just use this to teleport back to Castle Wars and that's it for a run. 
Now, that really is the end of the guide. It was pretty simple. I might have dragged it out a little bit too long, but again, I did want to try to speed through some of the areas. So if I was a little bit fast with the balloon part, I do apologize. You can always rewatch it if you need to. But if you want a perspective on how fast this is, I, I don't know exact numbers, so I do apologize, but I believe it's about 300 to 400 more runes per hour. Again, I could be a little bit wrong on that, but it is considerably faster than using the Abyss, both for XP and just for general law making, for law runes. So, I mean, the Abyss is normally faster for most things, but this is faster for law runes, so keep that in mind. But yeah, that's it for this guide. I hope it helps you. I hope you learned something. If you do need further explanation on something, let me know in the comments below, and I will be happy to respond to that. If I went over something too quickly or you just didn't catch it, let me know. I'll leave a link in the description for a text-based version of the balloons. So then, you know, you don't have to listen to me if you just want to read it. That's available to you as well. But other than that, this guide is over. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it helped you. If you have any suggestions for other guides, leave them down below. I do have a few more that I plan on making, but eventually I will run out. So let me know if you need a guide for something. I don't want to just make guides for the most efficient methods. I do want some fun guides in there too for just maybe some distractions or some diversions, something like that. So if you have any suggestions, leave them down below. But that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.